Hi, this is Ron Jones. Welcome to Business Labs. You know, today we want to look at what might be causing potential customers to leave your website. If you've got a website, statistics tell us that first time visitors will only spend about eight seconds to look at your site. What are they seeing in those eight seconds? And why is your website losing potential customers when they only give you eight seconds of time? I'm going to give you a few tips today to help make your site better. So, the top seven reasons. Number seven, I have no idea what you do. You know, this happens when the text on your website is not clear enough, when you're not really uh, being exactly clear with your potential customers what you do. Some people like to put banner ads like Envision the Future or We Find Pathways to New Opportunity. These are very vague. They don't tell customers what you do. So be sure that your customers understand when they, as soon as they open your page up, what actually you do. Number six reason why people leave your site. You sound like everybody else. Keep in mind that website visitors are not only visiting your site, but they're visiting your competition. So how are you different? If you're a builder and you have a website, don't just say, we build great houses and do quality work you got to say something that's going to catch their attention in those eight seconds and make them want you as their builder. Reason number six, uh, excuse me, reason number five. Your website looks like an amateur created it, like a child created it. You know, first impressions are extremely important. And your website design, if it looks sloppy or if it looks unprofessional, it's going to show visitors that your services are also the same way. Make sure that you have a professional created site. What's reason number four? It's hard to read your website. Don't use fancy fonts, weird colors, or crazy logos. Don't use long paragraphs of text. You got to make your site very crisp, clean, and easy to read, easy to quickly take in with your eyes and understand. Reason number three. You and your website are not talking to me as the customer personally. Be sure that your head, headlines and your homepage really jump out and grab my attention. Specifically address my problem. Remember, people don't really care about your business. They care about their problems. Catch their attention by personally directing their problems. Reason number two, I don't feel like you're trustworthy or credible. If you are a builder and you're trying to get their business, be sure to include things like client testimonials or whatever your business is. Maybe you're a coffee shop, maybe you're selling products on the web. You have to build credibility and trust through the website. Testimonials are a great way to do this. Pictures and uh, successful projects you've had in the past are another great way to do this. And the last reason, I don't see a reason keep in touch with you. You have no call to action on your website. You know, it's hard for a new visitor to your website to become your customer after only eight seconds. That's like meeting somebody on the street and after an eight second conversation that they agree to marry you. It's not going to happen. But it's important that you immediately grab their details and their contact information so that you can build that relationship and maintain dialogue with them. So grab their attention with a call to action that uh, they get a free uh, booklet or free details or free information so that they uh, give you their email, maybe give you their phone number and their name for a way that you can continue a relationship with them. These are seven top reasons why people don't spend more time on your website and why your website may not be working. I hope they're helpful for you. We thank you for joining us. Let's see Jesus lifted high in the marketplace. This is Ron Jones.